I am Dr. Catherine Anagnostu, a professor of pediatric allergy at Baylor College of Medicine and Texas Children's Hospital. I have been asked to discuss food immunotherapy. Food immunotherapy means giving someone who is allergic to the food very small amounts of the food that are gradually increased in a controlled manner and under medical supervision so that the person becomes less reactive to the food. There are three types of food immunotherapy. Oral immunotherapy, where the food is given through the mouth. Sublingual immunotherapy, where the food is given in the form of liquid drops and placed under the tongue. And epicutaneous immunotherapy, where the food is given in the form of a patch that is attached to the skin and replaced every 24 hours. These three different forms of immunotherapy come with different benefits and risks. Both sublingual and epicutaneous immunotherapy are currently under research investigation. The only available form of food immunotherapy right now is peanut oral immunotherapy, and there is also an FDA-approved product for peanut oral immunotherapy. So I will be discussing peanut oral immunotherapy in a little bit more detail. Peanut allergic patients can receive peanut oral immunotherapy. What usually happens is that the peanut allergic individual is started on a very small amount of peanut protein that is then gradually increased every couple of weeks or so, always under medical supervision and in a controlled manner, up to a top target dose. That top target dose is called a maintenance dose, and the peanut allergic individual needs to be taking this maintenance dose once they achieve it every day. There are some restrictions with peanut oral immunotherapy. For example, exercise is not allowed for two hours after taking the dose. Illness can also sometimes complicate the process. When patients are ill while receiving peanut oral immunotherapy, they may have to stop this for a few days until they get better, or they may have to decrease the dose or even restart at their lower dosing level. The main benefits of peanut oral immunotherapy are first of all, protection from accidental exposures, Secondly, the severity of reactions on exposure is significantly reduced. And thirdly, quality of life can be significantly increased following successful peanut oral immunotherapy. The quality of life is directly linked to the possibility of liberalizing the diet somewhat and also to the fact that patients feel less anxious about food. There are also some risks associated with this process that mainly consist of allergic reactions during therapy. If you're interested in undertaking peanut oral immunotherapy, please contact a board-certified allergist who can provide further information.